Hey, I'm Denny Chapman and welcome to the Gun Show. Today we're featuring an awesome Rock Island Armory shotgun and a portion of my interview with Pilgrim Ammo's James Wilkazuski. Remember guys, you can always go back and watch this entire episode after the fact on the Gun Show YouTube channel. We're also cross-posting on John Martin Talks and all the other BDU social media platforms, including excluded.com. If you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor, go to excluded, X-C-L-U-D-E-D.com, check it out and subscribe there as well. And guys, remember to engage with us. Thank you so much for everyone who's engaging, hitting those like, subscribe, comment, and share buttons, and helping us to set a positive two-way algorithm on social media. We really appreciate it. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to kick things off with James from Pilgrim Ammo. Check this out. Man, you meet some interesting characters at SHOT Show. Can I call you a character? You're more than a character. This is James from Pilgrim Ammunition, but we got a lot to talk about. But tell us about Pilgrim Ammunition first. Uh, Pilgrim Ammunition uh, came about in 2018. Uh, previously to that, I was over here to buy another ammunition company. Things didn't work out, and the innovator behind that particular product, him and me, met through pure happenstance. I love the rounds. Uh, you know, some of our unique selling points is super light. Our nine mil is a 50 grain round, moves at 2,000 feet per second. Don't see that every day. Yeah, hits with 450 foot pounds of kinetic energy. And because of the light uh, projectile and how fast it's moving, you get about 30% less recoil. That's very interesting yeah. to me because I'm a USPSA weekend warrior and steel mm -hmm. challenge, and I shoot a lot of nine millimeter. Yep. Any, you know, anything between you know 150 grain, 147 grain. Yeah. I for competition purposes, mm -hmm. for me that sounds very very intriguing. We don't have to knock steel over in yeah. steel challenge. We just have to ring the bell. Bing, bing, exactly. Bing, bing, yeah. Bing. So that that's very intriguing to me. What's your background and how did it lead you into ammunition and what you're doing now? Uh, I. I had a company in Singapore, it was an oil and gas company, sold that. Previous to that though, my, to, to this sort of industry, I, I was a security contractor for about a decade. i uh, been in all the usual sand, you know, sandbox spots. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so I had a familiarity with this. And so having the business acumen and transferring it over, uh, yeah, it was just a good fit and great guys. We, you know, we, we had a, we've got a great financial partner out of Singapore, so you know, we're not hurting for cash and PJ Marks, my business partner, uh, he's got a sterling reputation and, and just has a uh, one of those minds, like a, I call them propeller heads, but he's really my mad scientist. <laughs> he, he comes up with some really- We all need a guy stuff. like that, don't we? Exactly, yeah. yeah. We're posting that entire interview as well as lots of other cool content on the Gun Show YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe there as well as on excluded.com. We're gonna take a closer look at this shotgun right after our safety segment. You know, it's our proud tradition to include the four cardinal rules of gun safety in each and every presentation, and we're gonna do it right now. Rule number one, treat all guns as if they're loaded at all times. Common sense, guys. Number two, never point your gun at anything you're not willing to shoot or destroy. Also very much common sense. Number three is your trigger finger. That's always your best safety, guys. Never put your finger near the trigger until you're ready to fire. And by the way, don't ever depend on a mechanical device for safety. You're always your best safety. And number four is your target. What's in front, behind, beside, behind that target. Always be aware and know what that is. The four cardinal rules of gun safety. All right, guys, let's take a little closer look at this cool looking shotgun. This is the Rock Island Duria Lion Accelerate X4 tactical shotgun. That's a mouthful. <laughs> this is a Turkish import. And if you're not familiar with Turkish shotguns, the Turks are very well known for making really high quality firearms with uh, really good prices. The X4 here is a semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun. It has a five plus one capacity and it's inertia operated. I love inertia operated shotguns. They have less parts, faster cycling. They're, they tend to be lighter cleaner, and uh, very simple and very reliable engineering. It does come with a low pressure piston pre-installed, so it will operate uh, low power 12 gauge shotgun shells, but also has a high pressure piston. It's really easy to switch out, so you'll be able to shoot those high power loads 
as well. Has a three inch chamber. So that means it's gonna function with full three inch shells as well as two and three quarter inch shotgun ammo, which is the most more common ammo, two and three quarter. Uh, comes with three chokes, cylinder, modified, and full. Let's pick the shotgun up and talk some more about it. By the way, since we're picking this up, let's talk about gun safety. Here in the studio today, the cameras are remote. There's nobody behind the camera. There is no production staff on this side of the studio. So I can safely point my unloaded shotgun anywhere in this area. And uh, you know, we always wanna check twice, visually and physically. No magazine, empty chamber. No rounds, empty chamber. I'm using my fingers and I'm using my eyes. And when I see no magazine, I can look down here in the tube and I can see that orange follower and I can tell there's no ammo in there and I can visually tell there's nothing in the chamber here as well. So when we talk about the shotgun and all its great features, obviously one of the first things I want to talk about is its receiver. This area here that houses the mechanics. This is a, an aluminum alloy. Uh, very common in the firearms industry to use aluminum alloy metals. They are light, they are very tough. You see it has an integral optics rail here that's ready for say a red dot for instance. I love red dots if you follow me you know that and I would slap a red dot in the shotgun in a heartbeat. It does already have uh, these tactical sights as you can see. It has an adjustable rear peep sight. This sight is adjustable for elevation and for windage as well and I really like this fiber optic front sight. I don't know if we can get the light to catch this. Has a really nice fiber optic sights. I love fiber optic sights because they pick up natural light they glow, they're easy to, uh, your eye picks it up very quickly. It does not require batteries because it's fiber optic, worse off than natural light. So I really like that feature of this shotgun. Has a polymer pistol grip stock. This is all one piece, the pistol grip and the stock. The pistol grip is extremely comfortable, guys. It's kind of, it's got a soft rubber feel. By the way, the overall length of this shotgun is just under 40 inches and the barrel's an 18 and a half inch um, barrel. Of course it is choked. I mentioned it comes with three different chokes. There are a number of aftermarket parts available for the X4. It's an option for an economical three gun competition shotgun. We actually see a lot of people competing with this exact shotgun in Europe in Ipsic three gun competitions that they put extended magazines on them make a couple of easy modifications. So let's give you a little shotgun uh, tip, guys. When we pick a shotgun up, our instinct is to put our, uh, grip the forend with your palm up. That is your instinct to grip it like so. I'm gonna tell you that, I'm gonna make a recommendation to you that if you take this palm up and you rotate your hand up and point your finger along the barrel. You see with the palm up, you see how I've engaged this muscle group here and it kind of uh, it kind of tightens me up. But when I rotate a little bit and I push that elbow out more at a 45 degree angle, I'm actually able to push my shotgun around a little easier. I'm actually able to pull it into my shoulder. I can drop my strong arm and manipulate things. I can load and do things, but it's harder to do if I grip from underneath. For one thing, I can't do a full C clamp Clamp. I can't get a, as good a grip as I can when I rotate my hand around. So when I rotate my, either you do a C grip or you point that thumb along, it gives you a very natural point of aim. So, you know, when you're walking down the street uh, with your friend or you're driving in your car and you say, look at that, your, your eyes naturally follow your finger. Same principle with the shotgun. So if you can align that pointy finger along with your barrel, you're gonna be ahead of the game. Uh, try it next time you're out there and enjoying your Second Amendment rights with your shotgun. Uh, it's gonna be a little more comfortable for you. It might make you a little more accurate shooter as well. So guys, check out the Rock Island Duria Lion X4 on the Big Daddy Unlimited member site. And if you're not a member, just hit that link in the description. It's around there somewhere around your screen. You can join BDU today for 99 cents for a 30-day trial membership. You'll have full benefits during that time, access to not only cool stuff like this, but 300,000 other Second Amendment related items on our awesome website. Guns, ammo, optics, holsters, accessories, survival gear, you name it. And you'll have access to our awesome customer service department. But as I'm checking my watch, guys, I got to quit talking. My time is up. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you again soon on The Gun Show.